This video is going to be about how to roughly calculate your percent auction saturation. So here is a scenario where we have uh, completed our dissolved auction test and we got results of 11 drops for the first bottle and 12 drops for the second bottle. So again, we're doing the high range test, so each drop equals one milligram per liter of oxygen. So hence, 11 milligrams per liter for the first bottle, 12 milligrams per liter for the second bottle. So that's all pretty good. Uh, so I've, this would be recorded on the front page of the data sheet, but I went ahead and just wrote it down here. So let's say that we have a six degree is our water temperature. So now to use this chart here on the center of page two is this top access line is for the water temperature. Okay, so we want to make a mark at, we had our water temperature at six degrees Celsius. So we will make a mark there at six. And then with our dissolved oxygen, since we have two different numbers, they are still within uh, good quality assurance. Um, they're within at most two drops difference. So we have a one drops difference. Always use the lesser, the lower amount of oxygen. So in this case, it would be 11 milligrams per liter. So our uh, milligram per liter of oxygen is going to be this bottom axis. So it would make a mark at 11. Then we use our ruler. Go from water temp to milligrams per liter of oxygen. Draw your line. And then roughly where your a uh, pencil or pen line crosses this diagonal axis is roughly going to calculate your percent oxygen saturation. So in this scenario, it would be, this is going to be 85%, so maybe about 86% would be our answer. Okay, so this is a second scenario if you're having to do the low range test of oxygen. So that means if your dissolved oxygen bottles change within the first three drops of the sodium thiosulfate, then you'll need to switch and do the low range test. Read through the instructions on that and or watch the video. But so we came up with uh, eight drops for both bottles. So that makes it kind of easy there. And so multiplying each drop by 0 0.2, therefore our calculated results is going to be 1.6 milligrams per liter of oxygen for this creek on this date at this scenario. Our water temperature is 28 degrees Celsius, so pretty warm. So what we're going to do is uh, mark on our bottom axis, this is the oxygen line, the milligrams per liter. We are going to make a mark at 1.6 milligrams per liter of oxygen. So that will roughly be about here. 1.6. Water temperature is 28 degrees Celsius. That is the top axis. So 28 degrees Celsius is right there. Use our trusty ruler, connect our marks. Roughly where it crosses the line, it's looking about 21% for the oxygen saturation. So where my red marker line crosses here is about 21%. Put that in there, and that roughly cal calculates our percent oxygen saturation.